Hi, my name is Dennis from ONGC, and in today's video, I want to show you how simple it is to use the Recycle Bin in SharePoint Online. A recycle Bin, similar to the deleted items on your machine, can be used to restore any deleted items that have been deleted out of a SharePoint document library or a SharePoint list. This is really quite simple to use. I'm here already in my SharePoint document library. And I might just go ahead and delete one of these documents here. I can delete this by right clicking and selecting delete, or by selecting the item and selecting delete across the top, and confirming that I would like to delete the file. That file has gone ahead and deleted. And now to access the recycle bin, depending on your particular SharePoint setup, you may see a recycle bin on the left. However, if you don't, it may be along the top. And if you don't see them, the, the option for the recycle bin in either, potentially come over to the settings cog wheel and site contents. And over here, you'll have the option for the SharePoint recycle bin. Selecting the recycle bin will show you all of the content that has been deleted over the past 90 days. You will be able to see content that you've deleted, as well as content that other users have deleted, provided you have access to the document. Meaning if a file was deleted from a secure folder, such as a management drive, and the particular user doesn't have access to the management drive, they will not see any of the files deleted in the management However, all general documents, any staff will see. You can see here the type of document it is, the name of the file, the date that it was deleted, and you can also see who has deleted the file, who originally created the file, and where that file originally was located. In order to restore one of these files, again, it's as simple as either clicking on it and selecting restore across the top, or you can again right click on the file and select restore. Doing this will restore the file back to its original location. So if I come over to my documents again here, we've now got that notes for Jane back. It also maintains all of the original file properties of that particular document. As stated, the recycle bin will hold files for 90 days. After 90 days, the files will be removed from the recycle bin and they will enter what's known as the second stage recycle bin. Depending on your SharePoint retention policy, the second stage recycle bin could potentially hold your files for 7 to 10 years, again depending on your setup. If you ever require restoring a file out of the second stage recycle bin, this will need to be escalated to your SharePoint administrator. Thank you for joining me, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to ONGC. Thank you.